you have been known to never be afraid of controversy. And when people first heard that you were going to do World Trade Center, a lot of people started buzzing a bit. But this is not a controversial film. This is probably the most human story I've ever seen you tell. What attracted you to this story? What made you want to tell this particular story? Well, you know, it's a strange story because the script did come to me out of the blue. My agent sent it to me and said, read this. I've never read anything quite like it. I don't know if it's going to make any impact, but it's just something special. It hit your heart. Read it. One sitting. Yeah. You know, you, Kubrick once said, the first reading is the most important. Just no question. I said, I have to make the movie. I couldn't get it made. They didn't want me. Uh, they, it, was, it didn't work out. The studio, this, that. I don't know. Six months go by. I'm doing other things. It comes back. I say, I want to still do it. And I still want to do it this way. And they, I'll respect the script. And they said, yeah. And I got the money. We got the money from Paramount, which was really uh, lucky because new regime, change of thinking. They made the movie. We, I came in in May of uh, last uh, 2005. Here we are talking. So it went fast once I got in. Cage came in with me. The, the gestation process is, what, five years? It'll be five years, cause the, and it took them two years to recover from the wounds, a year to talk about it, make the, uh, come out of it, make the script. The script gets written. I come in. It was uh, meant to be, I think. A lot of people were surprised when they saw Nicholas Cage's name attached to this. Some people thought maybe you'd go with lesser-known actors. Did you always envision having a named actor like that in the role, or was there just something about Nicholas Cage that made you want to have him in that spot? Cage was right, because he was a good actor. Adaptation, uh, Leaving Vegas, he's always good. He sometimes, he's outlandish. He's, but I think there was some room, there was, he looks like McLaughlin with a mustache, it's remarkable. But above all, I mean, why not make him quiet and uh, work, a, a simple working man? You know, he doesn't do that. There was something uh, very serious about John, ultra serious. And Nick, with his heavy lids, does look sometimes really ultra serious, you know. And Pena is a good contrast, you know. Last question is, a lot of this, the movie takes place in one environment, two actors, not moving. What were the challenges for you as a director, trying to pull as much out of that, those scenes as you could? That was huge. There was a lot of work, a lot of revision on the script. We, we cut it down to nine holes, and we only the whole time in the holes is about 35 minutes. Considering the, uh, you know, so much else happens, it's pretty good. So we cut in and out of the holes. You cut from the dark to the light, bar to the light, so you get a sense of contrast. Families at home, New Jersey and New York, you go to the rescuers, which is an, the rescue is an amazing story unto itself. I mean, it's just, it is true, and nobody believes that it happened that way. Uh, when you asked why I wanted to do it, I just want to repeat that it's very rare when you come across raw material based on truth that is true, based on truth that is true, that is a cliché in so many ways. Cops get rescued. But it, it, you, if you go beyond the cliché, it's an amazing story. It really is. <laughs>